So it's been a little while since the last uh, Murray mower I made. I recently converted this John Deere into a uh, electric riding mower. And it's come to my attention online that a lot of these videos uh, have been modified by YouTube with stabilization makes them hard to watch. So I recently decided I'll just make another one. <laughs> so in this build everything has changed. Uh, everything had to be shifted and as you could tell this was a uh, throwaway. I recently acquired it and the hood was destroyed but it still fits. I can drive it without it and prefer to usually. It drives quite a bit cooler that way. No, it doesn't overheat. So, with the change, I decided I would get another battery. And if you can see right here, I now have two Chevy Volt 48 volt batteries in here. And I have them linked via this cable. I think I got it off eBay about a year ago. And put them all in parallel. All the cells are parallel to each other. <clears throat> I am still using the same balancing board or uh, BMS right here. Uh, as you can see, it isn't the best attachment, but bungee cords seem to work well. And I believe it's all hooked up, ready to go. We're still using the same golf cart controller here, 48 volt. Um, it's been running great. I actually just mowed my lawn with it, that's why it's a bit dirty. And I'll go over some of the things. So we have the on-off, this is the uh, emergency on-off switch. This, if you shut this off, power shuts off everywhere. You then have a key, just a normal John Deere key. Turn it on, you'll hear a click like a, one, like a uh, golf cart clicks. You'll see the voltage reading up here. Um, it'll show it's like 82%. So I just mowed the entire backyard here. I don't think it's gonna focus too well. There we go. Uh, in about, I don't know, 30, 35 minutes, and I have 82% battery left. Uh, if I wanted to go anywhere, I switched the, uh, I guess it's the throttle lever now. It'll increase, get a decrease. And I don't know that this is gonna pick it up, but this display shows me the current voltage that I'm sending into my motor. So I can always adjust it as I'm going. If I don't think I'm getting enough power, I can increase it. And the reason I switched to this John Deere mower was because it has the uh, dynamic uh, clutch here. So I can just push the pedal and go as fast as I want, depending on, like a car. And I'm still utilizing this 48 volt or 72 volt to 12 volt reducer here to power the electronic clutch in this thing. So if I push this, hear the pop? It does that. And engages the clutch that lowers the uh, wheel, the bearing, not the bearing, the, uh, the pulley, so that the mower blades engage. And once that's all said and done, I can just go ahead and go. I'm still using the uh, motorcycle uh, accelerator here. And everything else is the same, but now I get twice the run time. And I'm not overdoing the batteries now. They can each put out 200 amps constant, 400 at max first, and together they should be able to put out 800 max and 400 constant. So that's it.